certain things you want to do when you're doing disease identification. Um, you want to look at the individual plant from top to bottom. You want to look at an entire field too. Um, so with stem canker, it's usually one plant, maybe two here, and then maybe one or two over there, maybe three over there. It's usually uh, just a couple plants here and there. So here where I have this flag, you know, there's some discoloration going on, but in particular, um, I can see some of the leaves here are discolored, and right here, just some burning. And so I'm going to take this whole plant and pull it out so I can examine the entire plant. And that's something to take into consideration too. When you pull out a plant, was it easy to pull out? or was it hard? Because it'll tell you about the whole plant because we want to say is it something going on with the roots? Because um, with stem canker as well as SDS, even though you see foliar symptoms, these are actually soil-borne diseases. So they're actually infecting through the roots, um, possibly the stem, and then you're getting foliar symptoms. So uh, with stem canker and SDS, you get this intervenal chlorosis, so yellowing between the veins that can then also become brown. Um, so you have discoloration of the leaves. Um, and the thing to do when you're trying to say, well, do I have a burn in the field or do I have a disease? Well, one, you can go back to the pattern in the field. If it's a burn, the entire field is going to have that symptom. Or maybe it was just the first two uh, passes of the sprayer, you got a burn. So look at the pattern in the field. The other thing that will differentiate that is over time, if the newest growth on the plant is still showing symptoms, then you most likely have a disease. But if that newest growth on the, on the plant is nice and green, you're going to want to go back to your, your spray sheet and see maybe what went out because most likely that's what's going on and it's not a disease if the newest growth is nice and green. Um, and so then when you've kind of decided, all right, my newest growth has disease on it, um, I'm looking at a disease, you want to look at the entire plant. And so in particular, you got intervenal yellowing, some necrosis. You want to say, well, is it stem canker or SDS? And so stem canker, as the name suggests, is you might be able to find an actual canker on the stem. And here in Tennessee, we have southern stem canker, which is only going to be on one side of the stem. Unless it's very late in the season, it might girdle the entire stem. And so you want to look for that canker on the stem and then also you want to split the stem to look on the inside. With stem canker uh, you'll see that the center pith will be dark brown um, and the only thing you have to be careful of again it's disease diagnostics there can be a lot of different things going on in the field. The other thing that can cause that center pith to be brown is if you've gotten a little worm in there, Dectes stem borer. If it's gone into the plant and burrowed through that center stem it's kind of its trail of its frass, its poop, will be brown. And so that'll muddle your, your diagnostic. And so a lot of times you want to look at more than one plant in the field to truly tell what it is or what it isn't. As with uh, SDS, sudden death syndrome, you have very similar foliar symptoms. It's also a similar distribution in the field. Might be slightly larger pockets of SDS, maybe a grouping of six to 12 plants um, in spots. Um, and depending on the year, you might actually have, I've seen very large corners of entire fields having SDS. Um, but again, when you split that stem open, that center pith is going to be white, but that outer vascular tissue will be slightly discolored. So really the big thing for those two is when you know it's not a burn, you want to look on that stem for the canker, split that stem open, look for the center pith and see if it's white or if it's brown.